This is the plaintiff, Carol Irving. She says she was taking her adorable 11-year-old Shih Tzu Emerald for a walk. And the defendant's pit bull started to follow her. She put her dog on top of a car to get it out of harm's way, but Emerald jumped off the car in fear. The pit bull put her head in its mouth, and poor Emerald was almost killed. The defendant's dog's vicious. The town investigated twice, and she's here suing for the $2,008 she's owed in vet bills and missed work. This is the defendant, Kenneth Warren. He says he doesn't know the plaintiff a thing because there were no witnesses of any attack, and that's why Animal Control did nothing when they investigated. It's the plaintiff's word against his, and he says the plaintiff's making all this up in order to cash in. Besides, the woman never showed him a vet bill, never contacted him, and just sued him. Sounds suspicious, don't it? He's accused of not admitting responsibility. All parties, please use your right hand. You see it, come to order, please. Let against have been shown, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're Carol welcome. Irving, you are suing Kenneth Warren for $2,008 that you say you are out as a result of his dog attacking your dog. What happened? That's correct. Um, on the morning of May 6th, I was walking my dog, and I went on his block. I passed his house. And I noticed that he had four or five pit bulls in his yard. Okay, are the yard fenced in? It's fenced in, but it's maybe four feet. It's a very low fence. And I thought to myself, it looks like they could possibly get out. So I continued walking and I shook it off. And when I got to the corner, I turned around and the defendant's dog was right behind me. How did the dog get out? I don't know. How did your dog get out? It followed me way down I, I the block. I still don't know to this day how the dog got okay. out. Okay. Who was there when your dog got out? There, I, was, I was inside the house. Okay, so, but you know the dog did get out because you came out eventually, right? I came out when the police came. And you came. know for a fact that your dog got out? Yes. So that's factual? Yes, that's factual. You're factual. a witness to the fact that your dog got out. How did your dog get out? You don't know? I don't know. To this day, I don't know how the dog got well, out. Well, then the yard. apparently your dog can jump the fence? No, the dog cannot jump the fence because the dog is no more than a foot tall. Well, then how did your dog get out? I'm not sure if someone opened the gate. Who in your I, house I'm not was sure. there? Who was there? So my nephew was at work. When he came home, he informed me that officers was outside the so yard. So he didn't leave the gate open. Who was in no. the house? You and who? It's just me. I was in the house. Nobody home. else. Well, then you're no. the only person who could have left the gate open. The gate was not open. So what's your theory on how the dog got out? I don't know if she tampered with the gate. I don't know if somebody in the oh, neighborhood tampered with the gate. Oh, you think, wait, 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 I'm loving this. Hold on. Let me hold on to this feeling. You think a lady with a, a dog that's a what? What's your dog? A shih tzu. Okay, an insect. A little. Went up to the gate of okay. the house with how many pit bulls and opened it so one of the pit bulls could come out. That's your working theory. That somebody else may have tampered with the gate. Who tampered with the gate? I do not know. And what happens? So at that point, I was at the corner from his yard and there was an SUV, so I pulled Emil up and put her on top of the um, roof of the SUV yeah. because I was frightened. And then, you know, no one was on the street, so I tried to walk away from the dog because I didn't know what else to do. And then a lady drove by, and I stopped her, and I said, Miss, can you help me? This pit bull is following me. Oh my and gosh. he just kept following me. So she said, come around and come inside of my car. So I go around, and I tried to get in her car, but then the pit bull followed me and was waiting for me to open the door. So the lady saw that, and she said, forget it, miss, don't open the door. I'll call the police. Okay. So then there was a yard across the street with a fence. So I opened the gate to get in. The pit bull followed me there, too. Into somebody else's enclosed? He was trying enclosed... to, but I hurried up, and I okay. locked the gate before he could get it. And where's the Shih Tzu during all this? He's on top of the, she's on top of the, um, the roof. Okay. Of the um, SUV across the street. And okay. I'm looking at her and I'm afraid because I'm thinking she's gonna jump. So I said, Emerald, stay, Emerald, stay. But she just kept pacing and then she jumped from the top of the car to the hood and then she jumped down on the street. And then I opened the gate and said, oh my God, I tried to get her. But his pit bull took off and grabbed her up by the head. He had her whole head in his mouth, and then he laid sprawled out in the street with my dog in his mouth. And then the male lady came up, and she said, Miss, try to use my 
handheld computer to try and hit the dog. So I tried to hit him with the handheld computer. She was nice enough to hand you her computer, yes. smart enough not to do it herself. Yeah, she stayed in, she stayed in her, right. in her vehicle. Um, yeah. vehicle. So the pit bull would not let Emmy go, so I started screaming for help. And I kept screaming, help, somebody help me. And then a nice Samaritan came out of his home and he ran across the street and then he kicked the dog. And at that point, he got up and he dragged Emerald down the street, trying to get back to its yard. The man chases the dog and I'm chasing the man and I'm saying, help. So he got to the dog, began kicking the pit bull, and then he dragged oh, Emerald, man. Okay. dragged her out of his mouth. Okay. And handed her to me. At that point, she was bloody, I was bloody. And at that point, the defendant came out of the house and looked around and then just called his dogs in. Now, you take your dog to the vet. Right. All right, the vet tells you what? That she had a rip um, side of her mouth, the corner of her eye was ripped, and a puncture wound inside of her mouth. And what did the vet want to do? They wanted to do surgery, and they said it would be $1,100. And I said to them, there's no way I could afford that. I have kids in college. So they said to me, well, we can give her medicine, and you could keep an eye on her and see if there's an infection that develops. Okay, so you took the absolute 70... cheapest route possible, exactly. and that vet bill was $568. Exactly. All right, and then today you are suing for an additional $1,440. Did you ever present the bill to him and say, hey, this is my, my vet bills? Well, actually, Animal Control went to his home and took the dog. So Animal Control had him in court, district Wait, court in Hempstead. Did, is that accurate? They took him a week later, a week from after the incident. All right, so they, they take the dog, the dog, and then where's the I'm, dog now? He's at the animal shelter. So my oh. question was, did you ever like send a letter or anything before you filed a lawsuit? Okay, going back to um, animal control, they took him to court along with the town of Hempstead. So we had two court dates that he did not show up to. So if there's a court date, why wouldn't there you was, go to try to get a, your animal back? Because the animal actually belongs to, to my sister. Who's your sister? She's not here right now. Okay. So, but, so did your sister go to try to get her dog back? She went and she, she, uh, they told her she had to set up all type of stipulations, so on and so forth, to kind of like it too box much work. the animal box. Where's box the, the dog? So you guys are just so giving up the dog. So she gave the dog up for adoption. Well, that's not like putting up the dog up for adoption. That's letting animal control keep the dog they seized. There's a difference. So you got noticed to be the, in court twice, and then you the didn't show. There isn't a difference because. By her putting up the dog for adoption, there's no more court date. So that's no. That's so that's good for you. Word. I'm wondering what's happening to the animal. The animal's still in the exact same place the animal's been since the animal got seized, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the two court dates that you acknowledge already passed, right? Because you say, well, no, that's no, coming I, no, up. But then you just said, now there's no more court dates. You know that there were past court dates. Why didn't you go to them? You're the one who got noticed because you're the one who lives at the house. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So, our pit bulls. Who has a pit bull here? Anybody? Okay. You know about pit bulls? More aggressive than the average dog? Not you... the... I really don't know. You don't know? What do you say? Uh, I think it just depends on the person that owns them. So you think it's the owner, not the dog? Yeah. Owner, not the dog? Yeah, definitely. You think so? Yeah. What do you say? I'd say so. They just have a bad rep, but it's all in the way that they're raised. They need a publicist is what they need. Amen. Very true. There you go. Going inside the courtroom. When I got the notification for the court date, I informed that I could not make it because I work. So, Who'd you inform? The lady that was in charge. The lady that was in lady contact in charge with of me. what? In charge of uh, the animal control, I believe. Who did you call? What's the name? I don't have the paperwork in front of me. Um, Do you have the paperwork anywhere? Because according to her, you informed nobody. She wasted time, showed up at animal control hearing, nice. and then how to do it again the okay. next time when you also didn't show. Can I see your notices that show me that you went down there twice? And also, how do you come up with 1440 for missing work four because days? Because two days I had to stay home with the dog and then the two court dates that... Did you go to work at all on those up. two court dates? No. All right, I got vet bills that you are clearly responsible for because your dog got out, okay? So because the dog got out, there's no witnesses outside of her to say Wait, who What are you talking about? What, what do you think she is? You think she's a mirage? Out. She's a witness. There are no witnesses to contradict her. In fact, there's one witness in the courtroom that supports her testimony. You, who admit that your dog got out. I got yes. a vet talking about how it ripped up the dog, yes. and you think that's no witnesses? What the heck do you no. think is necessary? No, what I think is 
the fact that there's no one to, to back up her statement, there's no, there's no saying who antagonized who. If oh, the two oh, dogs got oh, into a oh, fight... Just stop, 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 stop. Do you seriously think that this is about who antagonizes who in the dog world? The dog world. Do you, do you so, seriously think that if the Shih Tzu was smack-talking <laughs> to the bully, that that somehow means that your liability here would lessen? We never, ever blame the dog. The dog is an animal. The dog okay. is, has thousands of years of breeding to do exactly what it does. What we punish is the human. And what your conduct was on that day was failing to keep everyone else safe from your pit bull obsession. You're supposed to keep your animals contained. You failed to do so. And she has the best corroborating witness on the planet Earth, you. That's what we punish. Because that's what allows the animals to be in contact with each other in a way that they shouldn't be. You see? That's it. Done. Okay. Okay. I'm going to... Um, do you have pictures of your dog's injury? Yes, I do. Yeah, let me see it. Oh, jeez. Man, you're so lucky she ended up taking the cheapest option. It ended up working, like the dog, I'm sure the recovery was slower, but the dog's okay? Yeah, now he okay. is, yes. Thank you. All right, I'm going to award you all of your vet costs, and I'm going to award you two days of missed work for a total of $1,288 verdict for the plaintiff. Play the lady. Well, Mr. Warren, the defendant's on his way out of the courtroom. Obviously, the judge found again. Did you think you had a chance of prevailing in this case, coming in here? I, I did, but it doesn't matter what you no, think, right? No, no way, no way. Yeah. You know what's funny? We have hundreds of dog cases, and they're all pit bull. I don't know why, but it does seem to be. It's a very popular They end breed. up in court a lot. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I think you learned a lesson here. You're going to have to keep your eyes out on and control your dogs better. Yeah, without a don't doubt. Don't you think right? so? Definitely. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, $1,200. That's what the judge finds you. Uh, here comes the plaintiff now. Ms. Irving, you don't get the full 2000 you were seeking, but anyway, this will help, won't it? Yes, it will. It will certainly take care of all my expenses that okay. I paid out on the dog. And the dog is much better now? Much better now. Going to survive okay? Yes, she is. That must thank have been God. a really harrowing experience. It was awful. It was so frightening. Let's hope it never happens again. Let's hope not. Good luck. Thank, thank you very you much. Thank you so much. Okay? Harvey? So, look, I mean, Doug, th this is a case about the leash law. I mean, once the dog is off the leash and something happens, case closed, the dog should have been on a leash. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.